It's time to join the money man, Lance Huckut from Lance Huckut Financial Group. More comfortable approach to all things money. Here on a Monday morning. Good morning, Lance. Roll Todd, brother. Roll Todd. Happy Monday. How are y'all doing? Doing very, very well. I, I've, I've got a couple of things here. I've got the Lance Hocut stack over here to my immediate right. I've, I've got a couple of things for you. First of all, uh, I enjoyed the pictures you shared on Facebook and wanted you to tell us a little bit about that great event over the weekend to benefit uh, police officer Justin Taylor, who had medical bills as a result of, of his motorcycle accident. He's recovering, and I know you and about 300 folks with motorcycles got out and, and rode for Justin. Man, it was a great ride yesterday. Beautiful weather. I tell you, the Buffalo Soldiers, my good buddy Reggie Marable, put it all together with the Tuscaloosa FOP and T-Town Harley, and it was a, just a great community event. Uh, Folks from all over, folks from all walks, and it was a good hour plus ride down to Knoxville and back. Is there anything sweeter than the sound of all those motorcycles all all revved up at the same time? There, if you don't like the smell of gasoline <laughs> and the the loud rumble of a Harley, it's not for you. But <laughs> there's something really powerful about. Coming up 2059 yep. on that stretch between Knoxville and Foster's, if you know where I'm talking about, those rolling hills, and you see 300-plus motorcycles in front of you. I'm kind of the guy, I'm a back, uh, back row Baptist. I like to sit in the back. <laughs> right. My wife at church makes me sit up front. But <laughs> anyway, when I'm riding, I like to sit in the back and watch, and it's so cool to see 300-plus bikes just kind of, it's a dance, if you want to call it that, yeah. because you know, one moves one way, and you kind of got to go with it. It's just a powerful thing. Nothing purrs like a Harley. Nothing. That's, that's right. Uh, nothing. Well, our prayers are with uh, Justin Taylor as he uh, continues to recover from that motorcycle accident. And we are happy to report this morning the riders donated almost $14,000 to help wow. police officer Justin Taylor. So it was a very successful event over the weekend. Well, from all indications, they had a turnout that was much larger than expected i don't know that anybody expected that many bikes but it was it was an awesome day great that helped plus. justin out and his family good souls out there doing good work uh one thing before we get to the question for you this morning uh, lance I, I thought about you. I saw a report. I was flipping channels over the weekend, and they did a story on, uh, I think, Fox Business, saying that relationship experts report arguing about money is one of the biggest causes of divorce in America. Yeah, we've talked about that often, especially with some of these new newlyweds calling in and saying, hey, we're looking at doing this. How should we do it? Uh, once you say I do... It's not yours and mine. It's ours. It's y'all's. And I tell you, I'm, I'm proud that we, we're getting some listeners really trying to prepare for that. But you're exactly right. That's some of the biggest drawbacks that I see when I sit down with individuals as well. I've got this and she's got that. And no, let's get it together because it's y'all's. You have to become not only a financial advisor, but a relationship counselor at times. <laughs> I have to wear many hats. In fact, I was sitting down with a... Uh, a client who was a counselor the other day, and I said, well, do I need to put my counselor hat on for you today? <laughs> and Anyway, but yes, sir, it's, it's tough out there. All right, so listener Ed uh, has mes messaged us by tapping that app at 95.3 The Bear. He says, I keep reading that we're headed towards a cashless society. What does Lance think about that? I think so. I think if you look at where we are with Venmo, uh, we look with uh, how we are with PayPal and all of the the ways that we can affect trade today. Uncle Sam, believe it or not, knows all those transactions. They see that happening, and it, it it's unfortunate. So when you've got the guy or gal who's who's selling donuts door to door, or they're doing a car wash, or they're cutting grass, Uncle Sam wants to see all that, and you know what they want to do with it? They want to attach some of their fingers to it. So I do believe that we will be in a cashless society. If you read the book that I do, it does uh, reference that, that uh, in the end times, you're going to see a, a, a one world, one world order, one world government. And that does mean one cash, uh, one, one area uh, of electronic money. Ed, there you go. That's what Lance thinks about that. Direct opinion as always. And we appreciate that. By the way, 
Uh, I just got a message, uh, Lance, from friend of the show, attorney, and now judge, Paul Patterson, who says, Justin Taylor is my client, and we just appreciate everybody who helped out over the weekend. And, and that is the truth, and that's from Paul Patterson this morning. I want to share that message, Lance, with everybody. Man, glad to hear from Paul today. He's, he's a longtime friend, and I uh, used to go to church together. I hope he's doing well. He's a good man. Hey, Steve-O, remember the Lance Hoka Financial Group is an independent firm. We clear through S.A. Stone. God bless y'all. Happy Monday, and y'all stay safe. Look at the weather. It looks like we might have a little bit of coming in. Thank you, sir. Lance Hoka.com, everybody. A more comfortable approach to all things money.